Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Thursday's Training Tip. I'm your host, C.B. Harris. Today we're gonna finish up the project that we started last week. If you guys remember last week, we did all the prep work, all the design, everything for making a Kydex holster. And this week we're gonna finish that project. We're gonna get that Kydex pressed, we're gonna get our design laid out, get everything cut out, do all the finishing work, get some belt loops on it, and then we're gonna, you know, I'll show you the finished product. So come with me out to the garage, Check out this project. I'm gonna kind of speed the whole thing up here. It took a little while to do this. I, I put a little extra flare on this, so it took a little bit longer, but I think it was worth it in the end. You guys let me know what you think. So the first thing you need to do, get the uh, oven turned on here. I actually made a mistake and I had it turned up way too high. Uh, for the, the piece that was carbon fiber, I actually got it a little bit too hot. I started to get some shrinkage, but it worked out okay for me in the end. Um, but it could have turned out poorly. I did figure out that I had the temperature wrong and got it right the next time. So I got it in the press. It needs to sit there probably at least 10 minutes. Once that's done, I get the next pieces in. Make sure that they get heated up. I had figured out the oven by now. So then we uh, just lay those consecutively on top. Get the press all taken care of. And then we can clamp it all down. About 10 minutes later, I took it out of the press just to see how everything was going. Don't mess this up. If you try to take it out early, you're actually going to screw everything up. So just best to be patient. Give it at least 10 minutes longer if you want to. It was still definitely warm when it came out. It wasn't pliable necessarily. It was still a little soft, but it wasn't too bad at all. Now at this point, I'm gonna use my heat gun and I'm gonna to try to heat up the sides of this. My thought here is I want to actually kind of curve the holster around. That way it can be used a little bit more comfortable for your body. As you can see, it worked out pretty well. Now we need to transfer our design over and I'm just gonna freehand it. I, this is usually what I do, sometimes it works out pretty good for me and there's other times where uh, it doesn't turn out perfectly but it seems to work out okay most of the time. Now I'm going to use my scroll saw and we're going to cut the top pieces. I just have them, I, they're still stuck together. I'm just going to cut out the shape that I drew on there. Then I need to transfer that over to the rear piece and I do this because I need to make sure I don't transfer it exactly. I need to leave uh, the sweat shield in place and draw it separately otherwise it wouldn't be there if I cut it exactly patterned after the front piece. Now I'm going to lay out where the holes are going to be. Again I want to make sure I have a border around this. It just looks better if it has some sort of uh, border around the eyelets. Now I'm going to clamp it together make sure everything is lined up perfectly and then I can drill the holes in there and I'm going to be putting some Chicago screws in first and my point behind this is to hold everything together but I can still take it apart and make sure I can get everything, all the dirt and debris and everything like that out of there later before I actually permanently attach these things together. Safety first and now we're going to use the belt sander, clean everything up, all the major edges that we can belt sander works really good for this. This is, I believe it's 300 grit on here, and it doesn't take off too much or too fast, but it works pretty well. Now at this point, I'm gonna be laying out my extra design, all my cutouts to show through the red from uh, the sandwich layer. As you can see, we got everything done. I drilled some holes in it to just kind of make it interesting, plus we have some cutouts. Now, all the radiuses like these that we weren't able to use the belt sander for. We're gonna use the Dremel sander. And this is just a small sanding drum. And we're gonna clean all this up. All right, now I'm gonna use some 600 grit and 2000 grit sandpaper. And I'm gonna take this into the sink and that's uh, gonna get it all polished up. So at this point, I'm gonna be pressing the eyelets. And I found that if you give it a little squirt of WD-40 in here, it works a lot better. You have a lot less chance of scuffing up your eyelets and in all honesty it just works really well doing this. Get the eyelets put into place. Once they're all in, 
and we can get it on the press and get them all pressed. I found for me that I need to have it the handle shortened up otherwise I can actually press it too hard and I tend to split eyelets. Okay now we just need to get some belt loops put on here. We're going to put them right through here using some Chicago screws and then we're going to be back with everything done. Alright so here is our finished product. This is what we ended up with. We've got the Cryptek Yeti on the front. I really like that. It looks pretty good. We've got some crimson red, blood red in the background. And then on the back side, we have this carbon fiber. Uh, the belt loops that I put on it, these are Warlock belt loops. You can make your own with Kydex. Uh, for me, it's not really worth the, the time and effort. These aren't that much, and I think that they look a lot better. They're a lot more solid than most uh, Kydex belt loops and they're pretty easy to work with as well. So I really like these for this type of project. So as you can see, I ended up going with a little bit different cutouts. Uh, I think it looks pretty good on there though. We have all these different cutouts on the sides as well as the three holes or four holes on the, in the front there. I think it looks pretty good. So let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed this project, if you got something out of it, please like and share it. I always appreciate it when you guys do that. If you're not a subscriber and you wanna see more videos like this, Find that subscribe button down below, give it a big old click, and then be sure to come back next Thursday for another video just like this one. And on Monday, we have the Monday Sit Rep. We talk about things that are in the news and the life or death files. We talk about some people who have used their firearms to protect themselves. We also have a segment on there, uh, what's new. So it's new gear, ammo, things like that. And all of those are on the Monday Sit Rep every Monday. So be sure to come back and check that out. And until next time, take care and be safe.